Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Day of the Tentacle, the sequel to Maniac Mansion. So one of the things we can do, and I forgot to, is we can try to swap this textbook with the stamp album. Hey, don't touch my and stamp. I'm sure he'd never notice is the trophy we get for that. It is kind of a clever idea. Kind of. Okay, we couldn't flush this, but we, we can flush the crank and the funnel and the keys and the disappearing ink and the textbook and the fake barf. We cannot do the tape. That might mess up. And we can't tape. do the coffee. So now it's time to switch to Hoagie. And let's for a second just watch his idle animation. Because he might eat a sandwich, and if he does, we get a trophy. But I better move that cursor, because it's obnoxious. I right, scratch his belly. That's one. Let's move him a little bit and let him do it again. Okay, he belched. It's fine. It's fine. We'll move him. We'll let him do it again. Yeah, there's not there's not a lot you can do. It's random. It's absolutely random what idle animation kicks out of here. It'll be a belch. It'll be a belly scratch. But every once in a while... Yeah, see, so belt, we got double belches. Triple belches. The sandwich one is the rarest one. Okay, we'll try it one more time, and then we'll actually go about what we're doing. Nope. We'll get it later. It's no big deal. So, we're just going to run around and uh, collect things and talk to people. And then we'll start solving puzzles. Okay, the first thing you can do is we can uh, use this mailbox flag. Woohoo, the Pony Express. And then open the mailbox. Take the letter. Oh, I don't think we can read it. Now it says, duh, what a great idea, come to Baltimore right away. All right. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. Do you know where I could find him? Great hat, man. I dig the three-corner idea. It's like the pyramids, you know? I heard pyramids are supposed to have weird energies. Later, dude. All right. So, uh, Red Edison is in the clock.
It's covered with plans and junk. We can take this left-handed hammer. Say, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. Mr. Science Guy? Bumbling beakers, what now? How incredibly annoying. Glad I invented it. There you go. That joke never gets old. And I also think the booby gone here, I think we might be able to mix it with the disappearing. I don't think that would look better. Yeah, and then the universe imploded is what we get for that. Booby God is clearly supposed to be white out, right? But if you don't realize that, it makes another joke later. It makes a, a, a puzzle later, but like impossible. So, Red Edison needs... First off... He needs the help wanted sign. Moronic drone. What's this? Mm, help wanted, moronic drone, mm, assist genius, yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. Uh. So pick up your lab coat and get to work. So we can take up, we can take this lab coat. That's awesome. And then we can just talk to him, and we should. Hey. What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. What are you inventing? It's a complex metal uh. device designed to minimize paper so entropy. So clearly it's a paper clip, but in my uh, practice file it was uh, post-it notes was what he was inventing. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. He also needs this patent application. Hmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Okay, we need oil, vinegar, and gold. So, let's go check out some other things. All right, best Easter egg ever. Or Easter egg reference. The late Max Addox. His petard runneth over. A lamentable fate for such a patriotic dude. Why there isn't a trophy for this portrait? He's hung well the way he is. He's hung well the way he is. All right. So this is George Washington's room. The only thing we can do with it is push the bed, pull the cord. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. 
I guess we can't talk to her. Hey, lady. Yes, Mr. Washington? My name's not Washington, it's Hoagie. <laughs> That's funny, Mr. Washington. Imagine being named after a sandwich. No, really, I'm not Washington. You're George Washington, occupation founding father. It says so in the register. This isn't my room. Well, you certainly messed it up as though it were. It's no use trying to fool me, Mr. Washington. You're right, I am Washington. I knew it. Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Like most maids, I keep them on my cart, in the hall. I'll let you get back to your work. Yes, there's lots to be done. Okay, we need her cleaning supplies. So now we have soap. And when we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.